My name is Andrew Spira. I'm a course director at Christie's Education in London. I want to say a few words about the, the work behind me. It's called Imminent, produced in 2000. And it's a meditation on the notion of sacramentality and the value of the Eucharist. And when I say value, I mean value in a number of different senses. The meaning on the one hand, but also the spiritual and nutritious content of the object. Now the works are boxes. One of them contains Eucharistic material left, as it were, from the production of communion tokens. So the holes represent where communion tokens have been removed. And the second one is also double glazed, containing sacramental wine. In each of the boxes is a sacramental object, a monstrance in the first, a monstrance giving us the word demonstrate from monstro in Latin meaning to show is uh, an object that was used to display the Eucharist or is to, used to display the Eucharist in the Catholic Church and the object on the right contains a chalice so one is seeing through the Eucharistic material the sacramental wine on the one case and the sacramental bread on the other into the vessels that were used to contain them so we have a conflation of the notion of presence and absence. The vessels themselves, as it were, have no sacramental material in them, so in that sense it is absent from them, but by virtue of seeing through sacramental material into them, that absence is, as it were, transformed in a semi-sacramental way into presence. Now the tradition also is underpinned by an ancient practice in the Catholic Church. In the early Middle Ages the entire congregation would co commune with the sacraments but in the 12th and 13th century these were progressively withdrawn from the congregation to the point at which only the vicar or priest would take the sacraments and the congregation would take the sacraments at great feasts, so Easter and Christmas for instance. Now in place of this kind of direct sacramental communion alternative forms of communion developed among the congregation and one of them was optical communion whereby they would commune with the sacraments by gazing upon them and this tradition is picked up very explicitly by John in these works. Now the vicar or the priest would commune on their behalf and it is from this tradition that the word vicarious comes where the congregation would be as it were allowed to commune bodily with the sacraments through the vicar that is to say vicariously. The sacramental host, of course, is a disc besides its various spiritual qualities, and this is important for John because he's also interested in other uh, discs, you could say, of uh, transformative potential, and two of them are evident here. On the, on the left we have a wishing well. By throwing a coin into a wishing well, one is really using the coin to implement and realize a dream, that is to say, realize a wish, for instance, a wish to be healthy or a, will, a wish for prosperity or a wish to travel or whatever it might be. But there is some dreamed of desire to realize a potential, the same principle in effect as, as that of a sacramental host, which is a form of communion with, with a kind of truth, the realization of a truth that is invested in the sacrament itself. So money has a spiritual potential associated with it and the act of throwing a coin into a well is a way of realizing that value, that non-economic value in money. This connection is made explicit in John's work by association with another transformative disc and that is pills. Now the image on the right here, the photograph, is of a two penny piece that has been coated in a paste made of paracetamol. A direct analogy between coins and pills being made here is as it were brought out in the consumption of pills. And pills in their own way also uh, have a resonance with the Eucharist in that the Eucharist is about spiritual healing and a paracetamol or a pill is about bodily healing. Nevertheless, the anthropology, you could say, of the actions has terrific amount of interest, you could say, in common. So in this work, John is again meditating on the way value and meaning migrate from one context to another, transformed from one medium to another. But there's another element in, in this work that epitomizes the work that he's been doing in the last 10 years, and this is to do with the, the natural processes and the way that nature itself 
transforms value. And this is realised in many different ways. John has shown a lot of interest in processing uh, plants, either by abstracting uh, implications of economic value, as in the present work here, or using them to generate uh, paper from which soil can in turn be made, or from generating vines, as in his work, Chatham Vines, uh, in a church in Kent, from which sacramental was wine was eventually made and used in the Easter service in Rochester Cathedral. And we can see that his interaction with uh, natural processes is particularly characteristic of what he's been doing recently, allowing the processes of organic formation really to take a, a major part in his work.